Angela of the North is an amazing sculpture. When you go underneath, it'll feel like it collapsed on you, but it's just welcoming you into its arms. This took over 800,000 pounds to build. Now that's a lot. Its wingspan is estimated to be the size of a jumbo jet. This sculpture will last for over a hundred years. It's probably one of the largest indoor water parks in the northeast, offering ten water slides, a huge lazy river, and probably one of the biggest water slides in the whole of northeast, the Kamikaze. Bamber Castle has been at the site for many years. The first building was destroyed by the Vikings. A few years later, the Normans made a new castle on the site. It's an extraordinary to go and visit. This is the Baltic. It is a building full of art and it is opposite the siege. The Baltic took a year to build and still stands tall today. It is almost it is almost 138 foot tall and 79 foot wide. The Baltic was designed just before World War II and opened the public in 2002. Level 2 of the Baltic holds over 11,500 books. It is also open 362 days a year and is free to enter. When you come to the northeast, you should come visit some of the northeast's greatest features. In the summer, you can lie down and sunbathe or play in the waves. If you come in the winter, then you can take a nice stroll and enjoy the cold air. While you're on the beach, you can play a beach game or build a sandcastle. Hoy Island is near Bambara and Bambara Castle. On the island, it has a beach, still containing hidden treasure from St Cuthbert, from over a thousand years ago. The island is an extraordinary place to visit. Along with all that, the island has shops, cafe, ruins, and a little island. Even though the island is small, it has lots of potential and great views. The and the Gator is an extremely good place to go shopping. There's fun, child entertainment, and there are bungees and Playmobil toys to play with too. Jump Arena, the fun trampoline park, was this recently designed in 2017, which is only a year ago. It's really good because everyone can go, adult, teenager, young kids, there's lots of different things like obstacle courses, normal trampolines that you can just fully bounce on, there's an airbag and there's also a dodging place, I don't know what it's called. Well, the cool the Angel of the North is one of the most famous sculptures in Britain. It was completed in 1998 and is 20 metres high. In total, the Angel of the North weighs 200 tonnes, the body 100 tonnes and the wings 50 tonnes each. It attracts thousands of tourists to the northeast of England. No, this is thought to be the biggest sculpture in the world. It weighs 200 tonnes, 100 on its full body and 50 tonnes each on the wings. While you're in the North East, you should visit the Angel of the North. The Angel of the North was designed by Anthony Gormley. It was completed in 1998 in measures 20 metres tall and 54 metres across. The Angel of the North's wings were 50 tonnes each and the body weighs 100 tonnes. The overall cost for the Angel of the North was £800,000 and it is seen by about 90,000 people a day.